hey there brickies you know i've done i don't even know how many videos i feel like every video says arcade one up so sorry about that but this is pros and cons of an arcade one up so this is just in general so we're gonna start off with i guess the cons that way we can bad news first good news okay so the cons there's not that many i guess you know the main one would be it's not the exact arcade experience it's very close but you know it's using some sort of emulation so it's not true one-to-one -one, but it is very close to what you would have experienced on a real cabinet two would probably be like the controls they're i i find them great i find them like they're they're good they work great but you know some people may want better controls so you know out of the box like you can yes you can mod your cabinet but just straight out of the package i guess the buttons could be a little bit better moving on to the pros the pros are availability you can just go into a target walmart sam's costco like every store carries these now and you can just go in and grab your cabinet and be out the door number two you don't have to have you know, a buddy help you, especially if you have stairs like I do. To get these up was kind of a pain. Took three of us just because we didn't want to drop it down the stairs and we didn't want to hit the walls. So, you know, with this, these are 60 pounds. So anybody can lift these and, you know, carry them around and it's not that big of a deal. But as far as these, these are really heavy. So I guess mobility is the thing is longevity these i love these cabinets back here these are official nintendo these are original from the 80s but these go down every once in a while and you know the arcade one ups there's no no issues and you know they're just new led lcd screens so you know that's really nice so longevity you know nothing's gonna break down because there's not really much in them base then these, these just have one game in them as, and the arcade one-ups can have anywhere from two to eight, sometimes 10 games in them. So that's really nice. Even if you do not mod them and yes, you can mod these to get 16 ones and whatnot, but you know, I'm just going about like original hardware. So that's nice. You can take up less space and have a lot more games in your cabinet pricing. These tend to go on clearance a lot, you know, the first and second wave cabinets, I got a lot of them for $75 and that's a steal. Even $300 to $400 to $500, that's still a good deal. Yes, on offer up and let go, you can find cabinets like the ones behind me. You can get good deals on them. You know, I've got that Mario Bros for $400. So it is possible, but you know, some people try to get top dollar just because there's not that many left that collectors don't have. So. The pricing may vary so arcade one up has you know better pricing for what you get i guess these are just the pros and cons that i could think of off the top of my head so if you guys want a part two on this i would be happy to do that for you guys and let me know in the comments below what your pros and cons are and what you think of arcade one up in general i'm very interested to know what you guys have to say and i just thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys watched this all the way through, give it a thumbs up to let me know that you guys watched it. And just thank you guys so much for all the support you guys mean the world to me. And if you haven't already, I'm going to say this one more time. Please consider subscribing. It's going to be right here to become a Bricky today. There's going to be another video right here. And remember, until next time, see you next time.